Barnet take on Eastleigh tomorrow evening. I'm joined by head coach Dean Brennan. Dean, last week and a half, a lot of matches being postponed. How frustrating is that for a manager? I think it's frustrating for everybody. Supporters, manager, um, players. Um, so yeah, look, we are frustrated, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's out of our control. Uh, we're very, very privileged here, and I'm very lucky that the cities we have, we've been able to train on the 3G. Although we've had to train later, I know some clubs in this division haven't been able to train, I know some clubs above haven't been able to train on grass or 3G, so we're very lucky to have that have that at our disposal. So, and the players' attitude has been spot on, so like I say, we're going into a hectic schedule, I think we've got seven weeks and around 14 games, so hopefully games can be on and we can get into that ex- exciting schedule sooner rather than later. Obviously, with all these matches getting called off, it is causing a bit of fixture congestion. Is that something that you worry about, or is it something that we can use to create momentum in the league going into the last bit of the season? Ideally, you want to create momentum. Um, if we can continue the form we have for the last two and a half, three months, we'd be, we'd be more than happy with that. But it doesn't happen that way. It's one game at a time. We will get beat in some of the games. That's a guarantee. You know, We're not going to go unbeaten for the next 14, 15 games. We've got some really tough games. The division's relentless. It's how we react after them defeats, and um, that's the most important bit. How we s- stick together, how the boys' attitude, we continue to stay strongly. We've got good mentality. We've got that togetherness, so that's important. Um, and I just think, from from our point of view, it's winter months. I've said this here several times. Games can change. You know, I watched the game of football last night in the Premier League, and I thought one team were outstanding, but they lost the game. So. It's just winter, it's cold, it's breezy, it's, there's going to be so many different things and so many different dynamics though in football matches. There's not one way of winning, but I think when you when you get to this stage of the season, it's about grit, it's about fight, keep going to the line, making sure every tackle, everything matters at this stage, uh, especially with the position we put ourselves in. So keeping on fixtures, six of our next seven games are on the road. Is that something that you have to change your preparations with doing all those miles or is it just same as usual? Nah, same as usual. Like I say, we take each game and it's merit. It's not ideal. We'd rather six at home and one away. But look, it's a challenge for us. It's a great challenge for us. Um, how we step up to that, time will tell. Um, so there's no doubt we're in this period we'll pick up niggles, injuries. So the squad's going to be uh, going to be used. Um, we'll travel to all the games with all the squad now. Um, so we've got to pull together more than ever. Uh, this is going to be the busiest schedule of the season. We're basically going to play nearly a tour of the season within the seven and eight week period. So. It's crucial, it's vital, so we'll see how we get on. And since I last spoke to you, Jamal Lozer has gone on loan to Dartford. How important is that for him to get back to match fitness and then do it for a team that's uh, flying at the top of the National League South? Yeah, I think it's important, uh, especially for Jams. He's been out a long time. His last competitive game was last April, so it's a great opportunity for him to go play for Dows. He knows Dows really well. Dows is one of the good guys in football, so um, and hopefully he'll do well for them in that Monday period. Um, he's got a lot of pace, and then, you know it's pace we need as well. So hopefully he can get through that. Uh, and it's uh, if for us it works well for both teams, um, and hopefully he can come back for us for, for the run in in March and April. Tomorrow we do take on Eastleigh, a strong Eastleigh side pushing for the playoffs. What challenge are you expecting from them tomorrow? They're good to be fair, play two systems. They can adapt, they you know, they can play four three three, they can play three five two. Um very well organised, score a lot from set pieces, a lot from restarts, uh, got a long throw you gotta deal with. And the pitch there is excellent. Um they've got an experienced manager, so it's another tough game in this division. And finally, is there any update to the team news for tomorrow? Uh, not really, no. Excuse me. Um, no, not really. Um, you know, we've got majority of players fit. The one that will definitely be out is Powell's definitely out. He can feel something in his hamstring. Um, and Jordan Thomas is still on his road to recovery after his knee injury, so everyone else will be available. Thank you for your time. Cheers. Thanks.